Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh my goodness, man. Training camp is in full effect. Here we are. It is finally Friday, really the third practice of the week. The Dallas Cowboys, we heard from Mike McCarthy earlier, talking about the Cowboys. We're going to be focusing in on the red zone, and here's one of those plays that they were definitely focusing in on. And, um, you know, the, the sad part about football is we as fans get attached to players. You know, we, we look at, you know, players that we grew up with and, you know, eventually they get old, they get cut. The thing about football is you, you just don't know when your time is up. And as fans, we fall in love with guys. You know, there's people out there that are still wishing that Tony Romo was out there playing and things and thinks that he would be a better quarterback right now than Dak Prescott. Not realizing that he's been away from the game for, you know, six years and his body is no longer in that football shape. It's just the nature of the beast. Now, with us, we have 90 players currently in camp. The Cowboys are probably bringing some other players and stuff, which means that 90 of these guys will not, not all of them are going to be Dallas Cowboys players. There's a 53-man roster, and then there's like 15 guys that will be on the practice squad. So we're looking at about 30 of these guys that we start liking and getting to know that don't make this roster. And some of these in positions that we look at and we start to really get to know them. And one of these position battles we've been kind of told is Semi Fuco and um, Vasher, that these two guys could be fighting it out for a position. Now, I will say that TJ Vasher has got the first leg up because I let, let me show you what I'm talking about here because this is – pretty freaking amazing let me change angles up on you guys here but watch this one-handed grab here this is freaking insane okay we're in the red zone here and this is one of those things that the cowboys have definitely been missing look at look at the move he made there boom even with them being held even with them being held by kevin joseph kevin joseph with the hold right there he still went for the pylon got up in the air and got that thing take a look at it again this is a thing of beauty this is the catch of camp so far let's watch that sucker again man i, I can't I, you never can get enough of this look at this one-on-one -on -one, kevin joseph on him boom draped on a one hand right there in the corner nice nice catch you gotta you gotta love that man you have got to love that Let, let's keep oh my god the thing is, is, you know, everybody's been talking, of course, that the Cowboys having lost Amari um, Cooper and things like that. You know what? The thing is, is players don't become great players until they get the opportunity to become a great player. You know, and sometimes all you need is a guy to have an opportunity. And you look at the size, you look at the leaping ability. And so and I know this is look, we talk about practice here. We talk about practice. I get it. But I tell you what, it's a start. And you practice the way you're going to play. And seeing him out there battling for it, you know, Semi Fuco, you got to you got to step up, man. TJ, he you know, shots fired here. T oh, I guess that's not the right analogy with Kevin Joseph in the picture there. I get no, that's that's not okay. TJ Vasher is staking claim for his position here on the team. But I oh my lord. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. All right, so that's what we got for you guys right now. There's all kinds of great plays and stuff that are going on in training camp. My man DMV will be over here a little bit later. Um, you can probably see the mess that's, that is around here. I've been cleaning out my closet here, trying to uh, make some room and storage and stuff and start to get my stuff together for going to Oxnard. I can't wait. You know, I'm jealous. I'm jealous West Coast out there and Law and & Nation and things that they're getting, you know, close to the action. But I know my time is coming. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. All right. I'll see you guys a little bit later. We're going to have actually a full night of content for you. My man DMV has got a couple of interviews he's got to do, and we're going to be live streaming. We'll be talking about all the news that is with the Cowboys uh, thus far, and hopefully, knock on wood, Matt Belinsko will get um, healthy on a quick quick pace. He'll be missing a couple of days of practice, and hopefully nobody else gets hurt. 
I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. And I will see you all later.